Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakadash, Baraka the Yahweh, and Baraka the Yahushai, Baraka the Yahweh, and Baraka the Yahushai. Yahweh is the true name of the Holy Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahushai is the true name of the Holy Father's Son, the Son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We want to give double honors to our apostles and to our elders of Great Millstone. We all learn the truth from, and peace and blessings go to the hopeful elect. The brothers out in the highways and byways, pushing his word and his truth in sincerity. Okay, Lord, Yahweh, Shai, our power allowed us to be out here another week to wake up his hopeful, his elect, and to condemn those that, that need to be condemned, and to wake up those that need to be awakened. Okay, and. We could start off by going into Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, and the 16th verse, when it goes into, um, the stick. Yeah, the stick. Ezekiel. Oh, you start for 15. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 15. And the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, Take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick, write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his, compa his companions. Right, so it says, uh, read, read it from the top again. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah. And for the children of Israel, his companions. Right, Judah, Judah, which are the so-called Negroes, the Benjamins, Benjamin, which are the so-called West Indians, and Levi, which are the so-called Haitians. All right, go ahead. And can you look up the word uh, stick? And it says, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. Right, which Ephraim, just like how Judah is the head tribe of the southern kingdom, which Judah overall is the head tribe of all these tribes, the head tribe of the, uh, of the northern kingdom is is the tribe of Ephraim, all right, which are the so-called uh, Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Okay, I say so-called, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, because that's what, Esau in this world, that's what they refer us as. Alright? When well, we're nothing, we're not we're not black, we're not Mexican, we're not Puerto Rican, we're not Native American. Alright, we're Israelites from, from whatever tribe you may be from. Okay? And you have our people that are considered lost. Why are they lost? Because they don't know who they truly are. Okay? They don't they don't know that they're they're the Israelites, that you're not Mexican. Okay? Because you have I'm using so-called Mexicans, for example. They're proud of their heritage, of their culture, not knowing that they're not Mexican, okay? That you're that you're from the tribe of Ishikar, okay? Same thing with the tribe of Judah, all right? West Indian, or in West in, uh, Judah and Benjamites, and, and Levi, or Haitians. You gotta understand, these are the bywords that have been put upon us, all right? We have to come back to our, our nationality and that we are God's chosen people, okay? So. You have so this was a future prophecy all right the lord is telling ezekiel to write get get a stick which we're going to go into that word stick and what it means you have it go okay. uh <clears throat> hebrew word is a uh, ice and it means a uh, tree wood timber stock plank plank okay all right stalk stick gallows trees wood pieces pieces of wood Gallows, firewood, cedar wood, woody flax. Right, so we're supposed to get a stick, a plank, a wood, okay? And write down the names of these tribes, okay? Write down our people, all right? What they truly are called and what their what their byword is, okay? Now, why did the Lord tell Ezekiel to do this, okay? Which applies for us today, how we're supposed to get a stick, a sign, and write down the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, to, and go out on the highways and byways because our people have forgotten who they are. Can you get Jeremiah 17 and 4? It 
uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, <clears throat> shalt discontinue from my heritage that I gave thee, and I'll cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right. So, the Lord, the, the reason why we were, we, 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 we discontinued from a heritage because we the Lord was angry with us. All right. Why was the Lord angry with us? Why was he mad? Why was he pissed off? Because we were, we were disobedient. We were, we were hard-headed, rebellious. Okay. We worshiped other gods. We sac our, our people sacrificed uh, their, 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 um, their children onto to these gods, which are nothing but idols, learning the ways of the heathen, to the point where the Lord saw the wickedness of Israel. All right, because wherever our people is, the Lord is is there, always watching them, because we're His people. Remember, we're we're the apple of His eye. Okay, the Lord, no matter where an Israelite is, the Lord is always there. God, okay, that's part of the curses that came upon us, man. We're not following the law, statutes, and commandments, and that's why. The Lord commanded us to go out to the highways and the byways and to create a stick and to teach our people who they are. Right. Only the elect. So the elect can come back, you know, and repent from their ways and be delivered. Right. But this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the, Lord will, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. Right. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that's another main curse that came upon us, man. We're scattered from all different lands, and we're worshiping all different other gods, and we're under all these other nations, man. We shall serve thine enemies, and we're serving our enemies now. But now we're in the time where the Most High is going to turn that back. He's going to turn back our captivity, and he's going to take us out of these lands and bring us back into our land. All right. So first, our people have to know the name, you know, mainly the elect. They have to know the name. They have to know who they are. They have to know what tribe they come from, man. That's part of the learning and the teaching that we're doing. Yeah, you have to wake up from that black culture shit. Oh yeah. You gotta yeah. wake up from that uh that that, that, that Rastafarian. Yeah. You gotta wake up from being uh, uh I'm proud to be Mexican. I'm proud to be a Salvadorian. Christianity. You gotta wake up out of that Christianity BS and that Catholic man. Oh yeah. Okay, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up out of that shit because that's not what that's not who that's not who we are. That's not yeah. what we're supposed to serve. Okay. No. Yeah, that Christianity, man, that was the main thing that destroyed us as people, man, all throughout the planet. Right. That Christianity, that white Jesus that was pushed upon us. The turning the things upside down in the scriptures, man. Certain scriptures that are not brought out in the church, you know? Majority of scriptures. Oh, yeah. Only focus on the blessings and the good of the scriptures. Yeah. John 3, 16 oh, no, no, no. and all that. You know? they, they bring out scriptures that they don't have no understanding, okay? They have no understanding of. But read, uh, read that, uh, uh, was that more in it? Uh, I mean, I can't read more. Yeah. And going back to that plank, you know, it made me think of like pirates, when they, they, they make someone step on the plank, and they basically about to kick them off, off the ship. Right. Yeah. It's a plank of wood, you know? Right, man. Yeah. Plank of wood, which we're supposed to get a, a, a stick, let our people know who they are. So, yeah. so, so they can start calling themselves Israelites from the tribe of Judah, which is, which, which, ever since the Lord has his word out, our people are realizing that they're not black. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, you have our people, certain of our people that understand that they're Israelites. Okay? They understand who they are, that they're not black or Mexican. Okay? But, hey, just like when you read the beginning of Ezekiel, they, they, they don't have, they have the skin. Right. They may understand the, the, who they are, but they don't have the breath. Because right. they're still BSing in the world. They're still yeah. part of this world, you know? Hey, the Lord said... This is the people that are looking for a sign. Hey, so here's a sign. The Lord gives you a sign right here to look at. You know, you can see the names. You can see what tribe you're from. Yeah, it's a conversation started right here. This is the main hook, main bait. Yeah. As a fisherman, you have a lot of baits. You can use all of the baits, but there's always one bait that you use. And this is our bait. Because yeah. as you see, everyone, everybody, this is why it's very important to have this. Yeah. Because everyone passes by, and the first thing they look at is the signs. Oh, I see myself on there, Mexican. Oh, you also here, where, where am I? I don't see where my people at. You all right? You know why? Because if you're not an Israelite, then you're not an Israelite. Yeah, that's, that, that, that stick alone dispels a lot of lies. Right, that's right. Like, you have you have these uh, rats that claim that they're the tribe of Levi, but what about the rest of the tribes, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, what about the rest of the tribes? What about the tribe of Ishakar? Yeah. What about the tribe of Manessa? Yeah. And Manessa ain't them goddamn uh, Asians that, that you so-called found over there, man. Bring them back into your land. Manessa are the so-called uh, so Cubans. Right. All right, the people that are dwelling in Cuba. All right, Manessa, in, 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 the, in the land you had east side of Manessa, and you had the west side of Manessa. All right. Uh, in a, uh, uh -huh. oh, man. Hey, and half half of the tribe of are known to be warriors, be warriors, along with Gad and with, along with Gad and Ruben. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, not only is it our job to tell our people who they are, we also have to tell all these other people who they're not. You know, like the uh, so-called Jews. You know. That's right. We have to let them know you're not. You know. A descendant of, of, of Jacob, man. Right. You getting like, that, you're getting that covering cast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we gotta let the Asians know who they are. That's right. And how where they came from. You know? We gotta let Esau know where he's from. Mount Seir, where he came from. You know? That's part of our job as well. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. when people see the sign, they're like, why am I not on there? That's the first question. One of the first questions. Yeah. Where where are we at? You know, so we're supposed to tell it all nations. Isaiah 25 and verse 7 And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right. The veil that's spread over all nations and people is the lies that Esau has told everyone who they truly are, who they are, you know. You have, you have the Ishmael, you know, calling themselves Arab. You got the Chinese. Which, uh, which you got, um, you got Moab calling themselves the Chinese. You got Ammon calling themselves the Japanese. Okay? You got our people calling themselves black or Mexican. All right, these are all the, that's the veil that's covered upon all people, man, of who they truly are, according to the Bible. Because best believe it or not, these nations like Jacob, Esau, our Ham, all right, Ishmael, Moab, they're still here on earth today. All the descendants of uh, Shem, um, Ham, and Japheth, they're still here today. There's no end of the people. Okay. Yeah. Say that again. There's no end of, of the people. Right, right, right. There's no end of all of all the people, man. But Esau, how do you think that the, that Esau, Edom himself, is done away with? Okay. Hey, Esau, Esau did this. Use the same method he used on us against all the nations. Right. We'll have them think that the. the uh, People from Tokyo is different from the people from China and the people from Thailand, but they're all the same people. Yeah, like um, you have the elites of these nations, like the elites of Ishmael, the elites of Moab that are all together with Esau. They know who they are, yeah. okay, and they know who we are as well. This is why they have all come together to try to make our name a number of remembrance. That's right. Okay. The major veil covering cast was that whole African thing and the Hamites, man. That's a major veil that our people are under right now, man. Calling ourselves African Americans. We really believe that we're Africans, man. We're two separate nations, the Hamites and the Israelites, you know? And we go into, into the books. Right. The Bible Dictionary. Man. Right. We break it down, man. Oh, let's, let's, uh... It, and it says, um, he will destroy in this mountain, the, that's the truth coming out of America. Yeah. So the debunction of all these nations uh, being different uh, nations, different people, it's all being debunked here in Babylon by the prophets, and now everybody's hearing it, you know? Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, and that's part of that sign of Jonas, or the prophets. We're bringing out the truth, we will, will, man, every week. Yeah, it looks like the brothers getting it, you know? What? Vanderbilt's Bible Dictionary? Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, the Zonovan Bob Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, right? With Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. A clear distinction, man. Right. Because you have our people that don't think they're African, right? You know, not understanding the history. All yeah. right, if we're not African, then why did the white man get us from Africa? Because we were persecuted from the Romans that made us flee to, to the parts of Africa. 
Gone. Well, another thing that you gotta consider is that we didn't, majority of us didn't just flee to Af different parts of Africa. We flee throughout the known world at that time. You know, over there where China is, you know, Japan, Russia, we all we all were scattered through the four corners of the earth. And the Northern Kingdom was already over here. Right. right. And the Northern Kingdom, the, the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Lat Latinos and Americans and Simple Indians, they're already over here during the time after the Syrian captivity. Gone. All right. And how did Esau know where to go? How did Esau know who we were, man? Because there was a difference. We was on the west coast of Africa, man. We had our plantations, man. Yeah. Our forts, Judah. Fort Judah, yeah. Fort Benjamin, you know, the St. Thomas Islands. Man. Yeah, when you watch that series, The Roots, they had meat trees, man. Yeah. So they, had, they had a scene where they were getting circumcised. Yeah. Who was, who was known for being circumcised? Yeah. Those Hamites, they circumcised their women, man. Yeah. So there's a difference in culture, there's a difference in customs, and we stood out. They knew where to go. Jake has beards. Ham don't have beards. Yeah, and Ham had us in captivity. The Sudanese, they're descendants of the ancient Egyptians, man. They're tall, really dark skinned, you know, Africans, man. They had us in slavery. Yeah, that's how they knew to, who to who themselves. If you're all the same people, how, how did they know who to give over to the Greeks? Grecians, like it, you know, I'm quoting it from Joel the third chapter, which you know, the so called white man, because we were different people, man. You right. can tell just being around a Hamite that that you're not the same, man. Right. When I was a little, now, yeah. right, when I was a little kid, and they used to tell me I'm from Africa and shit, it's a lot to my language, but um, I used to watch uh, Animal Planet, and he used to show some you know, National Geographic, sitting on the TV, watching these Hamites jump over cows, allowing the cows to piss. I'm like, in the in the big lip, yeah. I'm like, how, how am I African? That's not me. I would never do something like that. That's weird. It's you know? our spirit, right? We have our power. We're not bastards. We're not gonna put plates in our lips. You know, we're not gonna run around butt ass naked. You know, we're not gonna eat raw meat. Raw meat. Yeah. It's not in our spirit to do that. Right. 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 Got that. But you know, it wasn't just Esau right right too. That's another uh, lies that was put out out there. We saw linked up with the Africans yeah. and. The, uh, the Arabs. Yeah. We had to go up against three nations, man. Right, 19, 19, 19, 19. And they took us down. Yeah. So they knew exactly where to go. Uh, Exodus 1 and 19, and the midwives said unto Pharaoh. Now, now a little backstory. This is after when the Pharaoh gave that commandment to kill all the males, newborns, okay, of the Israelites. And the midwives disobeyed that commandment. All right, go ahead. And it said, then the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, right. yeah. they are lively and are delivered, ere the midwives come in unto them. Hey, we're lively, okay? We're, we're lively people, okay? We're the salt of the earth. I remember, um, you see Jake, man, Jake is lively, man, bring that energy to the room. Yeah. Okay, when you want a bunch of, like for example, when you're around a bunch of Edomites, they don't bring no light, they don't bring no salt. Remember super, there was a, a super plain. Yeah, super plain, even their food plain. You know, these devils don't know what, what it's like to live it up. Jokes are corny as all hell. Right, or weird or some homo shit. At work, yeah. I gotta laugh with these Edomites, but them, them jokes be, Weak. my seeds got funnier jokes than that. Dang. <laughs> like that dude, a new example, that dude that just won the NBA. NBA title, what's his name? Tall. Oh, oh, oh Joe, Joe, Joe? Yeah. The, the caller, Joe. They oh. asked him, what are you going to do now? I just want to go home. Like, come on, man. You just won the championship, man. You got no spirit about you? You ain't happy about the shit? You're going to celebrate. What are you talking about uh, the Denver Nuggets? Yeah, the Denver, Nuggets. Yeah. The guy, yeah. tall, you know my uh, dude. Uh, what's his name, bro? You know his name. Joe, Joe, Joe Kick. Okay. Joe Kick. You had no spirit no, no, at no, all. No, 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 no. I forgot. His name is uh, slipping my mind. No, man. No, I think he's a Jake, bro. But he's okay. good, bro. Okay. Yeah, he, 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 he can't. He, he balling. He, he balling out, man. He, he, man, only Jake be Jake. Yeah, good. And that's the thing. Another thing is that we've been scattered to the point where we, our people even look like these other nations. Right. Okay? Yep. We look like, we, we have Jake that look like every nation on the earth. We have every Jake nation. that even look like Amlek. Hey, even ugly ass uh, uh, Elon. Right. <laughs> yeah, you got Elon Jake like that. Ugly. Man, they ugly as shit, man. Right. Not they women, though. You got, you got, uh, you got, um. It's all preference, huh? You got Moab, you got Ammon. I bet you even got Jake's in North Korea. 
Oh yeah, they're all yeah, scattered. Everywhere, bro. Everywhere. We just read it. We just read it, you know. They're you scattered. Got, you got some jakes that are so in a tent somewhere, in a tent somewhere in, in, in Hamland. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looking yeah. straight like a fucking heathen. And why do you think Esau wants everyone chipped? Because remember, I quoted earlier that they want to make a name number remembrance, right? Yeah. Now how we now how we like how we know the truth, these devils know the truth too. They know that we're like the sand of the sea. Alright, we're everywhere. They can't get rid of us. That's why they, they try to mix the seed in South America by sending sending tourists down there to to pretty much what what you call um, uh, make make Make, make big mixed babies, like whitewash the race. Yeah, and, but you can't, can't mix. You can't, you can't outnumber Jake, man. Nah. And here's the thing, like in these different countries, like um, Cuba, mm. uh, South America, <laughs> all right, they, they portray the light-skinned race more than, the light-skinned Jakes more than the dark-skinned ones. You, you think that a lot, of the, a lot of the Brazilians are light-skinned because of what you see on the internet, but they don't show you how dark-skinned they are, man. It's 70%. Yeah, seventy percent of all Brazil. Brazil is a huge, uh, huge land, man. Seventy percent came out of West Africa, man. And most of the Jakes went there. You know, they look like us, but they just speak Spanish. They just speak Spanish. I mean, well, was it Portuguese? Yeah, yes, Portuguese. They're just conquered by the Portuguese, man. Right. Same thing with uh, the yeah. Mexicans, Cubans. Uh, uh, yep, yep. Puerto they're, Ricans, bro. The Dominicans. They were just conquered by the Spaniards. Right. We were conquered by the so-called Jews. So I have scriptures like say we won't get it, but let's read this one. You get you from like old school Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Exodus what? Exodus four. Yeah. Exodus four and. Um, you can look it up in your phone. What y'all looking for? Uh, what is the difference between the Egyptian and? Uh, Isn't that uh Deuteronomy or uh, Exodus seven? Exodus 11 and 7. Oh, 11. Oh, Exodus chapter 11, verses 7. It's all good. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that he may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Right, there's a difference between the, the Egyptians, which they're, they're true biblical nationality, they're from, they're Mizraim. Yes. All right, the Mizraim mites, if I'm saying it right. All right. But the, there's a difference between us That's right. and these people, man. We're not the same. Stop trying to link ourselves back. Like, I'm, I'm referring to the Southern kingdom. Stop trying to link yourself back to the to Africa. Yeah. All right. If you if you know the kingdom, like so called men, stop trying to link yourself back to the Aztecs or the or the or the Uzebulon. Don't stop trying to link yourself back to the Mayans. Link yourself back to who you truly are. That's an Israelite. That's right. Okay. And yeah, all yeah, you're, you're not indigenous. I'm sorry. No, no. And all people can see that difference. You know, like when Jake when Jake travels across these other lands, he gets in the military, and he goes to the other lands, he gets love. But when them Africans, when they travel, it's like, they'll try to call themselves us, but the women in those lands know. You know, they don't get that same type of love, man. Bro, we just talk about music alone. Oh, yeah. If we just talk about the things that Judah created, uh -huh. the different genres. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Why yeah. is it not happening in Africa? <laughs> yeah, the you know only music that's popping right now in Africa is what? The Afro beats. Afro beats. You know, the Jakes. Burner yeah, Boy, Nigerians. yeah. Uh, uh, Tim's. Yeah. And it's no coincidence that they sound just like you know, the Jamaicans, man. The music kind of has that same type of vibe. You make you know, dance, the dance. Yeah. Hey, like, uh, I was watching, I was on YouTube uh, live with this Jake was just going around Nigeria. And I was just looking at all, like, damn, that's, that's all, all of them are Israelites, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most of them are Israelites, man. That's Jake for sure, man. Yeah. That's Jake. Yeah. Jake got style. Jake, Jake, man, it got soaked when I was watching a lot. That's Jake. Bro, rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm, yeah. Everybody got yeah. rhythm like Jake, bro. Even the gait of Jake, the way Jake drop one shoulder and walk. He like, walks with rhythm. It With rhythm, yeah. yeah. And like even the, like um, going even further, the Egyptian versus Israelites, you look at the hieroglyphics, you look at what Esau brings out. When you look at those pictures, you see a Jake with Afro right. or beards. 
And then you see Egyptian with a little bald head and ponytail and skirt. <laughs> Right, you can tell who's the Israelites uh, and who's the, the heathen, yeah? <laughs> That's right, bro. You got some? Uh, yeah, I got that Jose. Yeah, you can bring it out. That's uh, Jose 7 and 8. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. Cooking some pancakes. Cook some pancakes. You got the one grill. One side's brown when it's ready to flip. Flip, flip the other side, which is white. Right? Jake, you got Jake that like a that's like a speckled bird. Okay? Diff, all different types of skin colors, man. You got Jake that look like Edomites. You got Jake that, that that are very dark skin. Okay? With different shades of brown. You got Jake that look like Edomites, but really Jake's. You got Jake. That, that that are they look like Judahites. Like for example, you have Ishikar look like Judah, but he really uh, Ishikar. You got a lot of a lot, a lot of Jake that think they're Judah and they're, they're, they go back to Gad. Right. Gad and Reuben. Hey, cause a lot of the Northern Kingdom. Okay, a lot of Northern Kingdom. You got dark skin Northern Kings. That's who we. That's the color that they really were. Okay. We're it's one people. We, yeah. Right. But. Over time, we start mixing ourselves with these other, with, the, with these other people, man. Which our skin tone or their skin tone started coming out lighter and lighter and lighter, man. So you got jet that looked like Edomites, okay? Bro, an unturned pancake is almost like this or that color. Right. Bro, I got seeds, bro. They all different colors. Right. Yeah. <laughs> different shades. All right, different you know shades of brown. We got they got the same parents, bro. Right. Right. And then none of them, none of them is as, is as dark as me. Right. You got that scripture? I think you're gonna have Hosea for it. Yeah, you ready? So you have some, right? Yeah, yeah, you want to bring it up? Yeah. Uh, Baruch chapter 2, verses um, 26. And the house which is called by thy name, hast thou laid waste as it is seen this day? For the wickedness of the house of Israel and the, and the house of Judah. O oh Lord our God, thou hast dealt with us after thy goodness and according to all that great mercy of thine. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If he will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a, a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Hey, like when uh, Ephraim, when Christopher Columbus came to the island of Puerto Rico, he, he dropped down the number to like around in the hundreds, around 500s. I believe he went to uh, uh, the island with Levi and... Uh, uh, right, he, he went to uh, yeah, the island, yeah, Simeon. What's that, what they call it? Uh, um, Espanola? Yeah. Like the island of Espanola. Yeah. But that was the Dominican side. The okay. French owned the Haitian side, and they were French and the, um, Spain were at war with each other during the time. They, uh, Spain never took over the, the Levi side because of the French. Okay. Verse, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. All right, and that's here in America. Okay. All right. This is where we are remembering starting with the elect we're remembering who we are okay can, can, can someone get and it starts off with seeing the signs you, stick, yeah. you know you be like oh what i didn't know um a jamaican was a benjamin i didn't know a cuban right so like uh, manessa Man manessa it's like manessa. <laughs> yeah i remember the tribes huh? i didn't know puerto rican was a Ephraim. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the whole stick is about. Forty-four. Yeah, the Lord set it up like that. That was a part of our punishment. Yeah, yeah. Stripped us from knowing who we are, and that's Esau makes a lot of movies about that. Someone having a throughout the movie, they gotta find out who they really were. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. just like in this life, you gotta find out who we truly are, man. Okay. And it's not for everybody. Right. A lot of people don't give a goddamn. Hey, you may have Jake that just know that the Israelites, but that's it. That's all that's the Lord. It, bro. Yeah. That's all the Lord allows him to get. 
you know, he and still, they still smoking weed, right? You know, still fiesting. Yeah, just goes back to you, what you brought out before about not having the breath, right? You know, they got not the sinews, you know, they got the muscle on them, you know. It's almost at the point where who don't know that, Jay? Oh, you yeah. know, it's true since we reached the four corners of the earth, man, right? So the, the elect has to be close to be all woken up. We have to be close, man. Yeah, I got that. Now, Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. By the name of Israel. So another one shall one, one shall call himself by Jacob, and surname himself Israel. Come back to the nationality and figure out and understand that the Israelites. Okay, that they that, that that they are Israelites, that we're not black. <laughs> like I gotta say it, Kendrick Lamar, I ain't black no more. I'm coming I'm a don't call me black no more, I'm an Israelite. That actually did wake up a lot of our people, man. Hey, this brother, this brother heard it. You, you like that, right? Uh, I heard it, yeah. Uh, I didn't know what it was what he was talking about, right. but I heard you it. Heard it. <laughs> hey, even before Kendrick Lamar, I mean the guy named this dude named uh, Killer Priest. Yeah, back in the day, he released an album, that first album, the heavy metal album, man, one of the hardest rap albums ever, man. Oh yeah. He brought out the name. What's it called? Heavy mental. Okay. Heavy mental. Is that with the B I B L E? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. He was kind of going off on that song yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. But he did an interview with him where he actually he was just saying a prayer or whatever. He actually brought out the name. Rocket like Yahweh, Yahweh shot on that. I gotta album. go back and listen to that. Hey, Kanye West did the same thing. Well, it's not just uh, uh that song uh. Yeah, that's the name of that song. He has, he has a song called Fear on that album, where he has the actual recording of, of his cousin or whatever saying, the so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans are the Israelites, you know? He's saying how we was cursing. So it, it goes in more depth on that song, Fear. It goes in depth, bro. Uh, and that song, that beat was created by Alchemist. Uh -huh. The alchemist. The alchemist is a producer. Okay. He's a so he looks he looks like a so-called Jew. If you ask him, he'll tell you that he's Jewish. But he's actually a Jake. Now, that lets you know that he even knows. He made the beat. Right. Yeah. So he heard that song, you know? And I always trip off how the Lord made that album good, man. It's like you everyone had to hear it. Bro, you remember that old song? I'm an Israelite. It's like a Benjamin song. I forgot how nah. it goes. Are you talking about the one that Apostle Gavar bring up? Yeah. Um, Don't call me black, no, no. But, uh, get, um, go back to Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 in verse 15. And it says, The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Okay. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph and the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel, his companions. And join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people yeah, shall right. we will split. Yeah. We will yeah. split. You know, going right. back uh, after the reign of King Solomon. Yeah. And we, it's the first time we ever been back together, man. Yeah, let's oh, get let's yeah. get let's get that history. Uh, first Kings seventeen. Yep. Start from one. So this is very powerful, man. Uh, hey, what did Willie Lynch said for these people to to. Uh, Pretty much get out of the to wake up. To wake up, it has to be divine now. Hey, this king. is divine. Divine phenomenon. Yeah, second, second, second king. Man, it's crazy because in the you like you know something was there between you and the north, but you couldn't figure it out. Like, yeah. why are these people going through the same thing? Like, why you you guys kind of eat the same kind of food? You guys are cool. Are you saying the tribes? Yeah, and then now you live you're in the same neighborhood. Ne same neighborhood, same oppression. Dated the same women. Yeah. <laughs> and and now we're we have 12, the understanding to reunite, man. Push this forward. We like the same music. 
Yeah, bro. They like Tupac. They like that. What's going on? like them oldies, bro. They do. Yeah. It's a car like them oldies. And they was always in the mix, too. When you when you, when you go on to like different uh, uh, decades, they were always uh, mixed together. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 Judah, Ephraim, and Safari, they were always in the mix. Yeah, they was right there along with the whole hip hop the revolution. Yeah. You know, during the 70s, 80s, whatever break it was, breakdancing, break dancing, graffiti. Yeah, Ephraim was right there with him. Yeah. You know? Even Cesar Chavez, he took after Martin Luther King, you know, do the marches. Wages, pay, and so forth. Oh, we got that? Let me see. So you want to look for start of the war? No, I get uh, uh, First Kings 12. We're going to get the history. You spoke of the, the kingdom being split up. Yeah. We're going to start this off. Right. It was uh, First Kings 12 and 1. And Rehoboam with the Shechem. For all Israel were come to Shechem to make him king. Right, and Rehoboam is the uh, son of Solomon. Go ahead. And it came to pass when Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who was yet in Egypt, heard of it, for he was fled from the presence of King Solomon, and Jeroboam dwelt in, in Egypt, that they sent and called him. And Jeroboam and all the congregation of Israel came and spake unto Rehoboam, saying, They father made our yoke, they further made our yoke grievous. Now therefore, make thou the grievous service of thy father, and this heavy yoke which he put upon us lighter, and we will serve thee. All right. What, what verse you have? Four. Four, four. Four Right. When you go to like the commentaries of David Guswick, when you go to that verse, you uh, see your father made our yoke heavy, now therefore lighten the burdensome service of your father. Solomon was a great king, but he took a lot from the people. The people of Israel wanted relief from the heavy taxation and forced service in Solomon's reign. And they offered alliance to Rehoboam if he agreed to this. This is right. So Mosai warned Israel about this in 1 Samuel 8, 10, and 19. All right? When you, when you go to that, it says, 1 Samuel 8 and 10, and Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king, and he said, this will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen, and some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousands and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground and to reap his harvest to make his instruments of war an instrument of chariots. And he will take your daughters to be con con occupancies. Con it's locky, that word is a tongue twister. But confactionaries. Confactionaries. water. And to be cooks and to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tent of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. He will make your manservants and your maidservants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work. He will take the tent of your sheep and ye shall be his servants. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king, which he, which he shall have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us. That's what he right. done with Saul. Uh, right. It started with Saul. Okay. Um, remember, and the reason for this was our people wanted a king. Yeah. Okay. Which, who was our king at that time? That's All right. The, the Most High. Okay. But we had a king, which was Moses. All right. He was our king. Okay, but when Moses died, we had, we, we had the Most High. He's the one that dealt with us. Okay, and, and fought our battle and, and fought our battles and defended us from yeah. our enemies. Yeah, judges. Okay, and, and then then you had um after Moses you had Joshua, and after Joshua you had a period of judges. Okay, and then um I believe in Samuel's it says at no time there was a there wasn't a. Uh, uh, there was a period of time where there wasn't a seer. Don't call me that. I got it. Yeah, there was no vision. Yeah. Right, there was no vision. Right. I grabbed Water. it. 
That's in Samuel. It was like it was like a time where there was no vision. Yeah, everybody was just doing what they wanted to do. Yeah, but the point is, the reason I read that is because during that time, you know, Solomon was, you know, was they our people, the northern, mainly the northern, they wanted to have a lighter burden than than what the uh, than what uh, Solomon put on them. So they, it. go ahead. Sorry, don't worry about it. It's First uh, Samuel three and one. I gotta speak loud because the mic is going out. First Samuel three and one, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. All right, there was no open vision, open seer. Okay, until until that time. Okay? Precious meaning, it's not a lot of it. All right. Now, um, go back to uh, Kings, First Kings, where you left off. Uh, back in our First Kings twelve and five, and he said unto them, Depart yet for three days, then come again to me. And the people departed. And King Rehoboam consulted with old men, with the old men that stood before Solomon, his father, while he yet lived, and said, How do you advise that I may answer this people? Right, because every king has a council. All right? Councils, you know, consider themselves what they should do for war, to do with finances. Okay? Every king needs a council. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 7. And they spake unto him, saying, If thou wilt be a servant unto this people this day, and wilt serve them, and answer them, and speak good words to them, then they will be thy servants forever. Right, and that's what uh, the counselors that were count that were the counselors of uh, elders of King Solomon gave to his son. Okay, Rehoboam. Go ahead. But he forsook the counsel of the old men, which they had given him, and consulted with the young men that were grown up with him and which stood before him. Right, he didn't take his counsel, he took the counsel of his friends. And he said unto them, what counsel give ye that we may answer this people who have spoken to me saying, make the yoke which thy father did put upon us lighter? And the young men that were grown up with him spake unto him saying, thus shalt thou speak unto this people that speak unto thee, saying, Thy father made our yoke heavy, but make thou it lighter unto us. Thus shalt thou say unto them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's loins. Right. His little finger shall be thicker than his father's loins. Okay, which means he's going to treat him more harshly, more severely than 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 what than his what his father did. Okay. And now, whereas my father did lay you, yeah, Solomon was putting it down. Yeah, and he had that. Um, <laughs> he had that wisdom, man. All right, and and he had that wisdom, you know how to put put it down, man. Okay. If we know, if we know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you don't just go in and out, you know. It's, it's work. Got put in. Got put in our work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he had, he had enough box for multiple lives. All right. Yep. <clears throat> hey, but the point was. Hey, Rehoboam was going to be harder than that. Okay. Go ahead. And now, whereas my father did lay you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father hath chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam the third day, as the king had appointed, saying, Come to me again the third day. And the king answered the people roughly, forsook the old men's counsel that day that they gave him and spake to them after the counsel of the young men saying my father made your yoke heavy and I will add to your yoke my father also chastised you with whips but I will chastise you with scorpions wherefore the king hearkened not unto the people for the cause was from the Lord right go ahead <clears throat> wherefore the king hearkened not unto the people for the cause was from the Lord that he might perform his saying, which the Lord spake by Ahijah and Silonite unto Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Right. And because 
Jeroboam, there was, a, there was a time when he was out in the field, and the prophet came and took his garment and split it in ten pieces, which represents how which represents how the Lord was going to give Jeroboam ten tribes of the of the northern kingdom, starting with Ephraim all the way down. To, okay, and the rest of the tribes, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, were going to be with uh, Jeroboam, which are the southern kingdom. Okay. Um, you read 16 already? Uh, no. I'm on 16 right now. About all right. All right, so when all Israel saw that the king hearkened not unto him, the people answered the king, saying, What portions have we in David? Neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse. To your tents, O Israel, now see to thy own house, David, so Israel departed unto their tents. Right, and ever since then we haven't been together. We've been divided and, 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 and taken down and, and we've even been at war with each other. A lot of house fighting. Curses. Right, and, and also leads back to the curses, man. Where, where our people are, hate each other. You got Simeon, they hate Levi. You got Ishakar, they don't like Judah. You got Ephraim, they don't like um they don't like Simeon over there in New York. Okay, we're all divided, all hating each other. You got Ishkar hating on Zebulon. Alright. Man, did somebody drop a body over there or something? Looks like someone died, huh? Yeah, bro, like what the hell's going on? Somebody must have died, bro. Hey might have been that juicy juice, bro. Somebody just passed out. <laughs> I don't know. Shit, we'll sh we'll know. We'll see a corner here soon. That's a lot hey. of cops for something. <laughs> When y'all brothers open this for me, open yeah. the shot. Over here, famished. Yeah, they over here flocking shit off. <laughs> Seems like they got us surrounded, huh? Yeah, it's, I know, right? it's loving. Water. Oh, shit, they even might. Oh, nah, I don't think they'll move us. Yeah, nah, they ain't dead on us. No, no, I don't think they'll move us. Still, it's, you know, go somewhere else. It's in the same chapter, 11. 11? Yeah. All right. So let's get that. It's, uh, First Kings chapter. Uh, 11 and 29. And it came to pass that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite followed him in the way and he had clad himself with a new garment. And they too were alone in the field. And Ahijah and Ahijah put the new garment that was on him and rent it in twelve pieces. And he said to Jeroboam, Take thee ten pieces. For thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, Yahweh Shimel Shai, behold, I will rent the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon. And I will give ten tribes to thee. Right. But he shall have one tribe. But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake. Right, Judah, which is you know Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Not be directly in front. Right, so, right. whenever you guys can, or you guys wish not to, that's all right. Appreciate, so appreciate it. If you want to remain here, we can. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. There's a danger zone let's here. Just, let's just go. But, I mean, I can't force you, right? right. Thank so, you, man. All right, guys. Let's go, let's, go down the, let's go down the corner real quick. Yeah, you know what that means? They're gonna bring bomb squad over here. They're gonna bring the, they're gonna bring the robot. They're gonna be here all day, bro. Just move. Yeah. That's the case. Isn't it crazy that there'll be some type of bomb stuff around? But, uh, man, that coffee, I still have some in there. Damn, it's, it's warm, bro. You want me to keep it? Bring it over here? Yeah, I want it. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's 
suspicious package. It's a good thing that we hold it today, huh? That we hold it? What do you mean? That we hold it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you got your uh, stamp? Yeah, I got it. I'm not sure where an open place is, but we'll find one. Somebody let out a whole mod You want to switch, bro? You want to get in there? You want to jump yeah. in there? Because, you know, you're sharp, sharp. With the nah, but I ain't going to do it back. I mean, I don't know what time it is, bro. I know, bro. You mind if I use this real quick? You get Isaiah seven. Let's get in there. Let's get a couple examples. Ever since, ever since the time that the Lord, because we just read the time that um, we just read. You know what? Get uh, read First Kings eleven again. Where's uh, where Ahijah went to Jeroboam? Let me see other nations. I wonder exactly. Where that, uh, uh, 30, 11.30. Well, it's, uh, 1 Kings 11 and 30. And Ahijah caught the new garment that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. And the cross. And said to Jeroboam, Take thee 10 pieces, for thus saith the Lord, the Most High of Israel, Behold, I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to thee. All right, and this was prophecy. This is why we read in uh, 1 Kings 12, okay, why Rehoboam was so rough with the, 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 the northern kingdom, and and how and how um, and how he he didn't take the counsel of, of, of King Solomon's uh, his old the elders at that time. It's because it was all the world that how Bashim Yahweh shot to divide us up. Okay, just like how right now is the, is the Lord's will that He's bringing us back together, and how right. is He bringing us back together through this word? That's right. Okay, this is why the Lord has us bring out, have a stick to to come to let our people know that who we truly are. That's right. Okay, that we're not we're not we're not Mexican, we're not uh, uh, Puerto Rican, we're not black. Okay, to let us know that we're all Israelites, man. So right now Esau Edom has us divided, because that's one thing that He did when He conquered us. He divided us. Because we know that he, he he knows that he knows that if we're together, all right, if we're, if the tribes are together, he knows he's through. And he called us minorities, right? And that's that's dealing with that's like psychological, man. Right. That's gonna make you feel less than. Right. He's calling us a black as well. Man. That's psychological all warfare as well. And but immigrants right. and all that, you know. And even in the prisons. I remember I had just, I used to work with this one Jake. He just came fresh out of prison. He was uh he was I believe he was Ishakar. He's like yeah, you know you know you when we're in prison, all, all the you had the, the Mexicans, all the Latins, they're all all close together. But the blacks, they're all divided. You know the Latins versus the blacks. You know the Latins linked up with the, the so-called white man, 
and, and fought against the blacks. Even even in prison, Esau have us divided, man. You know? This yeah, because Judah got it the worst, bro. Right. Judah got it the worst. Like, you see, Northern Kingdom, they still grow up with fathers in their homes, but not Judah. Right, and, and you still you see a lot of them dealing with Esau, kind of, you know? You know, they work for Esau, cutting their grass, washing over the kids, cleaning their house. You know, living amongst them to the point where you have Ishkar that think they are. They try to be Edomites, man. And yeah, they okay? call themselves Spaniards. Right. But 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 you have a lot of cases where now you have a lot of Edomites showing the true colors against 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 the tribe, man. Oh yeah. Okay? It's not just the blacks, man, not just the, the southern, is you is you uh northern as well. Okay? It's not just the border. Right. Oh man, uh, we gotta mention the purge, bro, that last Forever purge? Right. That was on, on it's a car ass, man. Right. Oh man. And they had Gad in there, they had Judah in there, but it was mainly centered around your so-called Mexicans, man. Right. Because they know, hey, Latins, you try to be cool with Esau, man. The Lord's gonna show you that 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 that, that he's the devil, man. That's right. And if he's not, if you don't see it now, because Esau is showing himself now that he's the devil, man. Yeah, you had Trump on that ass. Hey, I remember. Yeah. Stay strong. Yeah. Keep your head on swivel. Stay upright. That's right. God bless. Yeah. We're seeing that right now. You know, saw showing his horns with the old affirmative action rule. So he, he, all you Latins, all, all you black women thought you was good, you know, getting in these colleges and these jobs. Right. He, he's going to lay the hammer down. Yeah, so I'm not. <laughs> there ain't going to be no more diversity. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. They had like a sus suspicious package over there, so. Oh, okay. Way to move yeah, I'll put some Shabrakta. Shalom, my brother. Yeah, that, that mercy is going out the window, man. <laughs> right? It's going to show you his orange, man. We'll see. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that Esau teaches their kids, and Esau grow, grow, grows up learning that Jake is just clueless of, man. You know? They don't want you, these devils don't want you uh, knowing, know, knowing the tricks and tricks and all that. Yeah, right? That. Ta tax write-offs and all type of shit that's coming out now. Right. That Jake is being privy to that they weren't privy to before. Different type of education, business. Huh. Right. They, they make know. they make right. private schools expensive for a reason. Cause they know Jake can't afford them shits. Just like they make the healthy foods uh, uh, expensive for a reason. Right. They say a lot. A lot. Of, I'm sorry. A lot of. I'm sorry. A lot of times, Jake don't even have uh, like the Whole Foods. Or at Trader Joe's uh, uh, near their, where they live at, man. And Trader Joe's is pretty, uh, I, I thought it was expensive, but I yeah, started bro, shopping. No, it's it's pretty cheap, pretty man. Bro, yeah, for some on. good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bro, man, on, I, I've, been, I've been sleeping. I've been going to Whole Foods and Sprouts all this time. Going to Whole Foods? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I buy the shit. You know the waters I had, right? The one that the Pasta Gabar put us on? Uh -huh. Now, they ran out at, at, at Trader Joe's. Two bucks, one ninety nine at Trader Joe's. You go to fucking Whole Foods, Whole Foods it's, it's three, like, sixty something, everything, bro. Everything, everything Whole Foods is more It expensive. just spiked up, bro, for no reason. Fuck Whole yeah, Foods, bro. Yeah. I go to Sprouts for, like, supplements and stuff or some kale or something, yeah, you know what I mean? Yep. But for the most part, I like Trader Joe's, man. Yeah. I, I remember that one time we got a gallon of water at Whole Foods. That, that joint was, like, seven bucks, bro. Just for a gallon just of water. overpriced yeah. for no reason, bro. Yeah. Hey. I was going to say, I'm sorry, no, no. going back to uh, similarities between our people, hey, not only are, are these cops known for gunning down uh, Judah, but they gunning down you, uh, uh, you Mr. Christ as well. Right. Yeah. You get caught up in that as well. Right, right. Even even the racist uh, remarks that, you, that Esau shows toward Judah. What's that? Uh, show towards Ishikar. Exactly. What's that stop and frisk thing? You know that whole thing, uh, cops uh, harassing Jake. They harass you, uh, Northern Kino uh, tribes too, man. Right, man. Don't think you're out of the picture, man. Just, just because you don't got the same skin color as us, we're the same people, man. We're going through the same curses as well. That's right. Okay, it ain't no difference. Right. All right. We're all we're Israelites, man. That's what the Lord has His prophets out here to tell you. Okay, that you, wake you up out of that slumber that our people are in. Well, let's get um Isaiah seven. Let's read that. Okay. I got Isaiah 11. All right, you can read that. All right. Yeah. Isaiah 11 and 13. Right. It says, The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy, envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. And we're seeing that happening uh, mainly amongst uh, the, the hopeful elect, man. Right, yeah. But there is a vibration out there 
that you can see and feel that these tribes are, you know, trying to unite, man. Right. Yeah. yeah. They're seeing that they have the common enemy. They're seeing that we have the, the same troubles, you know. So Jake is, you know, like YG and uh, Tiger made that song. Yeah, they, right. I forget the name of it, though. It's just a vibration out there, man, that we're the same, huh? Yeah. Is it Maria or something? I don't know, man. Yeah, even man. even that song with uh, uh, Wyclef, uh, Carlos Santana, uh -huh. that Maria Maria, that, hey, that's that's special, man. Right. A lot of that has to do with that vibration, has to do with the truth being put out there. That's right, bro. Because when I first moved out to California, you know, 20 years ago, yeah, it was a whole other vibration between those blacks and, and, and Issachar, man. Hey, Tupac said it. Uh, California will be nothing without blacks and Mexicans. He said, he said you can't, you can't, uh, I'm sorry, he said, it won't be with LA without oh, Mexicans. Oh, hey, like Florida is an example. We've seen all the immigrant, immigration law taking effect. Let's see, what, what's, let's see what happened. I believe it took effect July 1st. Let's see what happens when, um, when, um, when, 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 uh, when all, when all the immigrants leave, man. You're gonna have a lot of empty, uh, uh, construction buildings, you have a lot of empty vineyards, you know, fields. But who mainly works them? Jake, man. A lot of Manasseh. Right. A lot of Benjamin down there. A lot of Levi down there. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, and that's that's a, that shows it. I hate told you tribes, man. All right. How they pass? Oh, someone's in there. How they pass that law? Okay, that shows the hate told you tribes, man. All right, told you Northern Kingdom. Okay, but um, well, you want Isaiah? Yeah. yeah. All right, get Isaiah one. Let's just show an example of a, 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 a fight in between the, the northern and southern kingdom. All right, because we've always been fighting each other ever since the split. Okay, we've always been at war. Let's go ahead. It's uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 1. You want it to pass? No, read it. Okay. It says, And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that that reason the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remilah, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim, and his heart was moved. And the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood, are moved with the wind. All right. So you had the northern kingdom, all right, that linked up with Syria to try to take down the southern, the Judah. Okay, go ahead. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and Sherish Jashub, thy son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. And said to him, Take heed and be quiet. Fear not, neither be faint hearted. For the two tails of these smoking firebrands were the fierce anger of, Re of Rezin and with Syria and the son of Remiliah. Right, go ahead. This is because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remiliah have taken evil counsel against these saints. It says, let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make breach therein for us. All right, they wanted to make a breach. Let me see. You're in verse, you're in verse 6, right? Yeah. Verse 6. All right, so they wanted to basically, when we look at the word breach. Yeah. So read that verse again. Gone. This is verse 6. It says, let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabiel. All right, so they wanted, to, they wanted to take down Judah and establish a king for their own selves to rule over Judah. When you look up the word breach, it means to uh, vaquai, is the Hebrew word, which means to split, cleave, break, open, divide, break. All right, to be cleft, to rent open, to split open, to broke, be broken into, okay? So they wanted to basically, when you read it in NLT, it says, verse six, we will attack Judah and capture it for ourselves. Then we will install the son of Tabeel as, as Judah king. Okay, go ahead, verse 7. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Right, because the Lord was with Judah. That's why when you go into the history, the Syrians, after they took down the northern king, they wanted to go after Judah, but they couldn't. Okay, 
and 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 why? Because the Lord was with Judah. Because how Shai needed to come on the scene. If you if you look if you look at the history of the kings between the northern and the southern, all the northern kingdom kings were wicked. All right, but Judah you had a righteous king that did it, that fall after the laws. All right, and then you had then then you had a wicked and but eventually had uh, uh, it was righteous, wicked, righteous. You know, yeah. fall, fall in line. But with Judah, but all North Kingdom was all all wicked, man. To the point where the Lord just got tired of um, the northern and used the Assyrians to cast them out of their land. Okay, and eventually when you go into Second Ezra 13, they went, they never came back. They went back. They went to the Americas. Okay. So I'll uh, continue reading. It's verse uh, eight. It says, "For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin." It says, "And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a people." Right. So from this time, go ahead and cross her. Uh, Sixty-five years later, Ephraim was broken by the Assyrians. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. They they took over Samaria. You can read that at First Kings seventeen. They established uh, uh, Cushites in that land. Ethiopians, okay, that pretended that, that 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 lived in the land of Samaria, as well as other nations like Elam, okay, as well. So read that last part again. Yeah, God. It says, and the head of Ephraim is Samaria. Yeah, yeah, yeah verse, uh, verse eight, right? Mm -hmm. Verse nine. Or, verse or uh, yeah, I was at verse eight. Yeah, you're right. It says, for the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezan. It says, and within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a, a not a people. All right. Go ahead. It says, and the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. All right. And same thing with Syria. All right. The Syrians took over Damascus and made that uh uh uh, uh and, and destroyed that city, man. Okay. Go ahead. It says, if ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. All right. So that's what the Lord told um, King Ahaz, man, because he was nervous how he saw northern Assyria linking up to fight against, to fight against them, man. The Lord like, nah, don't worry. Okay. That way. Use your brains. Go ahead. Um, what, what verse you at? Eleven. Yeah. Or 12? I was at ten. It says, All right. Go ahead. It says, moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying. Ask ye a sign of the Lord thy power, Yahweh. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I accept the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to wear to weary men? But will ye weary my power also? It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And it shall be called his name Emmanuel. All right. Who was that virgin? Which, when you go into that word virgin, it goes into Alama, which in the Hebrew, that's the Hebrew word for that virgin, which means a young woman, a, a woman of marriageable age. Okay. And what age does a woman become marriageable in the ancient world? Around 12, 13, when, whatever, whenever she passes the father of her, uh, of her virginity, which basically gets uh, her period. Okay. When she first gets her period, that's when she's able to. Uh, get married and bear children okay her, uh, yeah her body goes to makes us uh, different changes like the brother said to where she's able to procreate right and um um oh, okay. well, which means god is with us okay the most high is with us and when and 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 when you have showers on the scene that proved and showed that the lord was with us man of the yeah. miracles that he was doing for his people the word was made flesh right and dwelt Can among I us can I go to the pizza place though? Which pizza place? This one right there. Right? Yeah. It's both. It is? Yeah. Okay. Usually when I see stuff like this, I just go to another city, bro. Well, Esau has that privilege. You know? yeah. they, they feel entitled, bro. Everything's from here. They're not used to being told no. Yeah. <laughs> Man. They're going to try to find another way. Hey, but read verse 14 again. Yeah. It's uh, verse 14 again. It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. All right. Go ahead. It says, Butter. Yeah, because that's what's, remember, we read, um, we read up, they, uh, Syria in um, verse 8, they try to make a breach. Okay. They try to take away Judah, try to take Judah, make a king over Judah. But the Lord's like, nah. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a sign to that that a virgin is gonna uh, 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 bring forth the son. All right, that virgin was Mary, and that son was Yah our Lord Yahweh Shah. That's right. Okay, because Yahweh Shah, he was from the tribe of Judah. When you read right. Hebrews 7 and 14. So what do you think will happen if if Ephraim the, in the in the Syria, all right, joined together and actually um, took down Judah? You wouldn't have our Lord Yahweh Shah. That's why the Lord didn't let that happen, man. Because prophecy has has to be fulfilled. Um, see you know, in Ephraim, the whole land would have been filled with idols. Right. The temple would have been filled with idol worshiping. God, yeah. Hey, Ephraim thing. just be tripping, man. Yeah. I better, better said northern kingdom just be tripping. Yeah. Uh, what verse you at? I was at verse 11, uh, verse 14. All right, read to um, verse 18. All right. And then get uh, 2nd Ezra 13, where right. it speaks of the tribes. Okay. It's uh, verse 15. It says, Butter and honey shall he eat, and he may know to refuse. It's like it. It says, He may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. And the Lord shall bring upon thee, and upon thy people, and upon thy father's house, days that have not come, from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even to the king of Assyria. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall kiss for the fly that is in the uttermost parts of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bees that in the land of Assyria. Uh, that was it. Now let's get uh, Second Ezra 13 about the peaceful multitude. Man, that even said that there won't be any kings in Israel or, or over Judah at that time. Because when Yahushua came on the scene, there was no kings. It was just um, we were under the authority of the Roman Empire. Right, right. And they, and they set up the wicked skies of Pharisees, allowed them to sit in their seat. You got the peaceful multitude. Let me do story 12 and this at the top. Uh, yeah, yeah, get to the point, bro. Let's uh, you can start at uh, you can start at 39 or 40. Or, I would say 40. Oh, yeah, right. So, so you want a peaceful multitude of the 10 tribes? Yeah, the, the 10 tribes, okay. 40. It's lucky, like brother. Okay. So, second is 13 and 40. Those are the 10 tribes. Oh, 39. And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceful multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoner out of their own land at the time of Hosea, the king, whom Salmanassar, king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they unto another land. And who was that? The northern kingdom. There were that peaceful multitude. That's why um, when they came over, when, when Christopher Columbus and the Spaniards they came over here to the to the to the to the different islands. They were, they they saw the the, the the people the Israelites as friendly as too friendly, man. These people need to be calm, you know. And how did how did even how did Christian Columbus knew how to get over here to the Americas? How do you know that people were over here? What we what we what we're reading, man. Okay. Yeah, they showed that scene in um, the movie uh, 1492. Yeah. He said, it's, 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 it's a, like, he mentioned the book of Edris, right? which the apostles put us on. You know, we ain't just yeah. stumble across this information. The apostles been told us about all of this. <clears throat> I remember he had the apple. There's a scene where he had that, you know, he had the, he eating the apple or something like that. He was talking about Edris. And they did that movie to commemorate that. Right. They came out with the movie, what, 500 years later? Mm -hmm. 1992? To commemorate... Uh, uh, what's his name? Columbus, man. Right. They probably got a Columbus Day. They got a Columbus statue. Now they're trying to call it Indigenous Day. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> they took all them statues down. He saw trying to erase history, huh? That's a double for you, man. But also with uh, with Gat. When the, when the Europeans came over there to America, Gat had to teach them how to survive and how to live off the land. All right, Gat was nothing but peace. All right, the northern king was nothing but peaceful to you Edomites. What did you Edomites do? Killed them, you slaughtered them, you raped your woman. 
killed their babies and stole their land. And they were speaking like uh, uh, Hebrew, man. Right. And that's why uh, Chris Columbus, he had to bring a few uh, Hebrew interpreters. God, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river. Right. So this is a history of telling you how the Northern Kingdom, how they came to the Americas. Yeah, not you that, that bullshit he saw say, uh, what is that, uh, the Barren Strait? Is that what he said? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah. Not that madness talking about we're goops. Nah, man. We're Israelites. Right. <laughs> you know, we did not come over here from fucking Alaska. You know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> he don't give a damn, huh? He about to get arrested. <laughs> oh, he don't give a damn. Boom, boom. Okay. But anyway. Hey, the Edomite, you the Edomite would have tackled them off the flight. <laughs> <laughs> Read that last part you just read again. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth unto a further country where never mankind dwelt. Right. That they might keep that they might there keep their statues. No. Which People here never met mankind well and think that no man has ever been over here. Nah, men came over here, but they didn't settle over here. Yeah, there were Vikings that came. You know what I'm saying? You had, and then, you know, Solomon, Solomon his yep. sent men over here, but they didn't, they didn't uh, settle upon this land. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. The Siphonicians? What are they called? Siphonicians. Yeah, the Phoenicians. Uh, the ones that were here before uh, Issachar with the statues? No, those are the ones that, that King that Solomon was sent over. Yeah, it kind of show you that people was here, you know? Sidonians, the ones that knew the way of the sea. And Jake tried to connect themselves to that. Nah, man. Well, I would tell you that. Yeah, I got that, man. Right. Hold on. Let's... It's uh, 1 Kings 10 and 22. For the king had at sea a navy yep. of Tharshish with the navy of Haram. Once in three years came the navy of Tharshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. All right, that's how the Northern Kingdom knew about this land over here. You know, right. they huh? go through the Horn of Africa. You know, yeah. that journey. Bringing gold, silver, ivory, oh. apes, oh. peacocks. What? That sounds like a place so got of rich paradise, too. Bro. Yeah. That's how King Solomon amassed his great wealth. Yeah. You know? All and the gold that was here in America. Yeah, something that no one else had. Yeah. How, how did Solomon know of this side? Because no one knew of this side. How did Solomon know? Okay, because of the Most High, the wisdom that he gave. He gave Solomon. The Most High gave him that knowledge. And knew the way. Right. Yeah. Think about it that. It was his name. Right. And it took what? How long did it take over here? A year and a half. Yep. In total, a year and a half there, a year and a half back. That's three years. And that's... Right in line with the scriptures. Right. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. Right, because they're Israelites. Right. They're Israelites, man. So they have their own customs, their own ways. Which eventually when they came over here, they didn't really keep the customs. They tried. They tried to, but they, they failed. Okay? They um you had the Mayans and Aztecs, they were sacrificing their own people, killing each other, you know? Wicked as hell, man. You watch that movie Apocalypto. I believe that dealt that dealt with the Mayans, man. What happened before they saw Esau the Spains came on ship? They were killing each other, man. Yeah. Okay, they were they were they were they were killing each other, man, and sacrificing uh, each other to the to the idols, man. Okay, and yeah, you want, you got our people that that are are zebra, and I want to partake in that, I want to glorify in that, man. 
Okay, they're coming out with they came they came out. I forgot the game game uh, name, but I was just, I was just scrolling and I found it. Yeah, it's yeah. A, that brother Ayash Ayash Shamar uh, sent me that. But Aztec game? Yeah, and the Edomites is mad about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Uh, I was about to mention that a lot of them are mad because I, I read a comment about well, the the the, the, the conquistadors were, were, were heroes because you guys were killing each other and shit like that. You guys were sacrificing each other. So we're heroes. We're saving you. Yeah, that's just judgment, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand that the Lord just brought you up here to judge us, man, because of our iniquities, of our sins. That's the only reason. Okay, that's the only reason why God got overtooken by another troop. Because it did say in Genesis 49 that God is a troop. We saw that, man. It took time for Esau. Uh, uh, it, took, it was hard for Esau to take down God. What made it easier was his blessing, his sword, that Gatling gun. Okay? Because that prophecy has to be fulfilled. Okay? If, 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 if the, the conquistadors never came... And, and Esau never came, prophecy wouldn't be fulfilled. Prophecy had to be fulfilled. Okay? Yeah. And that's something you devils don't understand. You devils are not heroes. You're not saving us. Okay? Hey, the scripture says the Lord so displeased to us, but you help for the affliction. Okay? Because the Lord did bring you over here. Okay? But, and he used you to punish us, the northern kingdom. You know? But, but you went overboard, man. You burned us. You, you cut cut down a woman, took off a pregnant baby, tested your strength by splitting it open, cut off the head, cut off the uh, Jake's head and played soccer with him. Yeah, fucking Esau, man. I was looking at that video game right now. Yeah. And they have posted a comment up there. Can you can you uh, eat on my saying? Uh, can you uh, uh, post a scene where they're they're uh, sacrificing yeah. one another? Yeah. yeah. You fucking eat has got some damn nerve, man. You're a bunch of damn hypocrites, man. Right. Just like they show you on that movie, uh, Wakanda Forever, where, uh, uh, what's his name, Namor? Yeah. When he was a boy, to, he came to the to the land to bury his mother, and them goddamn conquistadors was calling him a devil, man. Right. No, you the fucking devil, man. And then you see Jed Judah all chained up yeah. in the 1500s, man. That's you, man. Right. You're the fucking devil, man. Fucking Edomites, man. man. That's some goddamn nerve, man. That's right, man. You know, they always want to cancel out what they did. Yeah, forget about your history, huh? Hey, the Lord is revealing you devils, man. Okay? Every day that you have information, new information going out of all the atrocities that you've done to us, man. Okay, there's still more evil shit that you've done to us that, we don't, that we're not aware of at the moment. Okay? Yeah, but, this, um, the scripture says shameful spewing upon his glory. Right, right. It's slavery. Information on slavery. That's why Esau don't want to bring it out. Exactly, man. That's why Esau don't want to uh, talk about his history. He want to look at us like we're niggas, we're thugs, and that's the power that you put on us. If I look at you, Edomites, like you're pedophiles, you're robbers, all right? You're thieves, you're murderers. Devils, man. Okay? The biggest liars on the earth, man. The biggest thieves on the earth, man. You stole the goddamn country, continent. You stole the her our heritage. Resources out the earth, man. You gonna strip the earth of all its resources, man? For what? For what, man? Now you wanna? Now he wants to put a, a microchip in everybody. Right. He's not satisfied. He can never have enough. The devils are the problem, man. Facts. People, they want they want to talk about oh it's human, we're all human. They nah. like we're trying to bring it all like it's all of us. But does the black man run the world? Okay, all right, does the so-called Latin run the world? Does the Israelites run the world? No. So how can it be all human that's fucking up the planet Earth? It's you, devils. Because you got the dominion. The Bible says the Earth was given to the hand of the wicked. And look how you're managing the Earth. You're defiling it. You're polluting it. All right, you're polluting it also with your wickedness, man. That's why everyone's minds all effed up, man. Thinking how good is evil and evil is good because of you. Yeah, man. You turn everything upside down. You reward people for being evil, man. Right. Um, you got, uh, was that more, more than that? Uh, yeah, a little more. Go ahead. Back in uh, 2nd Ezra 13 and 43. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river, for the Most High then showed them signs for them and held still the flood. Showing, that the, Lord, showing the Lord wanted this to happen. Right. 
This is y'all by Shimon Sidewell for the Northern Kingdom to come over here, man. All right. He guided us, man. He made, he calmed the sea yeah. just for us to get over here. Hey, and I think about it, like, you got Ishikar. What was the child Ishikar known for? Her known for uh, known reading the stars. Constellation. So you, so you have probably Ishikar that was reading the stars, that, that the stars, the Lord gave him signs through the stars to show them where to go. And you chariots. Have chariots as well. Okay. Hey, that's they, I'm sorry. Because no. they knew what chariots were. Right. Yeah. It's not like they didn't know. Just like when, when, when was it, uh, Elmo's Fire, what is it? Right, yeah, yeah Elmo's Fire. Say Elmo's Jake's Fire. Them, them Jakes that was where Columbus knew what, what it was, man. Right. You yeah. know? Like, uh, like the movie The Mayans, right? They were all bedazzled of the, of the eclipse, the solar eclipse, yeah. right? But the thing is, that guy, um, I forgot what you call him. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one that the deceived, guy in the movie. Yeah, he deceived. deceived them. He knew that was going to happen. Right. He read the stars. Oh. Okay? He, he read the sign. He knew that the eclipse was coming soon. Okay? So he made himself look as if he was a god, you right. know? Right. So he used that as an opportunity, man. Simple as Jake, man. <laughs> Jake is simple, man. Hey, but, uh, can you get, real quick, can you get Ciroc? Um, Eight, no, no, 18, see, uh, 18 and uh, or 17, we'll see. And hey, you're right about it. How people know about the chariots, uh, the Mayans used to draw chariots, bro. Yeah, I'm they even draw, um, uh, 19, 17 and 19. It's uh, Sirach 17 and 19. It says, therefore, all their works are as the sun before him. No, Slav, yeah, Slav from 17. Barak 17 and 17. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, whom being his firstborn, he nourished it with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continu continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. Right, so wherever Jake is, that's where the Lord is watching everything, watching all their works, all their unrighteous deeds were not hid. So what Northern King was doing over here, the Lord knew, okay? And to the point where it, it, the Lord allowed Esau to, to, to bring, to come over here and, and use his use him as a sword to punish you, tribe. It, it, it really was prophecy. Right. You know, it was prophecy for us to go on and for us to derail you know, from serving the Lord. Hey, the brother read it, Deuteronomy uh, 2864. Oh, we're going we to be scattered. We're going to, uh, you know, serve other gods, man. What, made out of wood and stone and all of that. Yeah, that's why um, it's kind of that comment, man. Well, yeah. Really man. great heroes. Get the fuck out of here, man. I read it, man. Re yeah, read that, man. Oh, fuck this, man. No, I saw, I, I was, it was more, it was a bunch of comments. It, it says, I want to play as the conquistadors. Uh, you can't pause it, right? You can't pause it on Instagram? No, no, you can't. How can you pause it? Gotta hold it? Yeah. All right, so someone says, an Edomite says, can you play the part where the Aztecs are savagely sacrificing their children and their Spaniards are the good guys? You know the real history? What? Well, fuck out of here, yeah. man. You Edomites never were the good guys, man. Never. All right, you play as the good guy, but that's a part of you being the damn devil. Yeah. Skip and say what? Get that scripture. I'll get Psalms. Yeah, so uh, 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 it's words are smoother than butter, but war is in his heart. Yeah. That's the story, you devils, man. All right. Let me see if there's any more, man. There's more. That one. It says, I want to play. These are tweets, by the way, concerning this video game, which comes out next year. It says, oh, damn, so lucky. Like it says, I want to play as the conquistadors because they, ah, damn. How do I pause it again, bro? Hold it, hold it, you gotta hold it. There you go. I want to play as the conquistadors because they railed the tribes against the Aztec oppressors and brought civilization to, oh. to these children, oh, child, child murdering heathens. That's oh. what they called us. Oh, man. They called us child murdering heathens. Oh, wow. <laughs> but then you got this movie called Sound of Freedom. What is that about? Who's the one murdering children, man? Right. Yeah. Fuck out of 
fuck out of here, man. You goddamn devils, man. Hey, man, we can't wait for the Lord. Woo! We can't wait for Yahweh by Shemal Shai to bring that judgment upon you, man. It can't come fast enough, man. That's right. It can't come soon enough, man. Right. <laughs> These devils got some... See, but they'll do that online. Right. They ain't gonna let that shit come out their mouth. But they'll do it online. Goddamn keyboard warriors, man. <laughs> Wild ones. Yeah. See, you don't you don't know prophecy. You don't know why that why that really happened. Yeah, man. Like this brother always brings out in Ezekiel. Uh, it's because of our sins that, that that all this happened to us, man. Right. Because oh. it, ain't, it ain't because you better than us, man. Right. Well, right. you're man. gonna know that. All right. Even shall know. Oh, that's you know? that's 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 when we're gonna go back to Ezekiel 37. Uh. I believe it says that. Wait. Yeah. No. No. That's 39. My okay. bad. And then 35 is on your ass. I thought it was, I thought it was. Uh, that whole chapter of Ezekiel 35 is on, is on you. 25 as well. Uh, yeah. Check out that Psalm 65. Psalm 65 and 20. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. Right, Jake. What's up, brother? I told you Bonk Squad was coming. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jake was at peace with you. You know? Like, that they show you on that movie, uh, what you mentioned with, uh, Mel Gibson, the one he made? Uh, uh, uh Freedom, right? Nah, nah, nah. Oh. Apocalypto. Uh, Apocalypto. They show you at the end, they stop fighting each other, and they start walking like zombies to the goddamn to the shore, seashore. You know? Jake was in all you goddamn Edomites. Right? But ultimately, they were in peace with you, man. Showing you how to survive the bru uh, brutal winners. Yeah. <clears throat> you know? Go ahead. <clears throat> this guy need to go somewhere with a goddamn cigarette, man. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. He Al has always being the aggressor. Right, hey, yeah. peaceful, hey, peaceful multitude. Hey, did they come out with war? Hey, when you saw the movie Apocalypto, they were amazed. Like, white people, I've never seen white people. They, they, they walk like zombies to the damn water, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, they welcome them, bro. Jake is still in awe of Esau. Yeah. yeah. This guy, man. Oh, man. Damn, bro. I, 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 I cannot stand that smell. Bro. Yeah, me either, bro. I don't even want to breathe, you know? I make sure I yeah. want to breathe, bro. Be at construction sites be like, hold him. Yes, sir, sign this. Let me go. Have a good day. <laughs> Damn, man. That's that's some uh, some uh, some uh, selfish th shit, you know. Yeah. Well, Nobody wants to smell that shit. You want to fuck yourself up, but do all right. Okay, do that, but don't fuck us up. Second hand smoke is the worst, bro. You got people that grow up in households where people smoke cigarettes indoors. Yeah. Then their their walls be all brown and shit. Go ahead. He has broken his covenant. Right. Yeah, all them tre peace treaties you made. I believe it's over 400 you made with them. You broke every every one of them, man. You know? That was a, that was a simple thing that our people did to make treaties. Make treaties with the devil, man. Reluctantly, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Jakes didn't want to sign them things. But you would you would force it on them. You would give them ultimatums. You would use violence against them, man. Don't you not want your people to suffer and die? Watch that, that series, Hell on Wheels, man. You know? You know, what Esau would do, he would... Uh... Get the men and the children and women while the man was out. And that's how you would get a lot of those chieftains to come and sign the treaties. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. And he's a smooth talker, man. Like the, uh, Michael Jackson had that song, Smooth Criminal. That's this guy, man. You know, you're a smooth talking uh, asshole, man. But war is in your heart. That's what's on your mind. War. You came over here with the intention of murdering people, man. The whole time. What's that famous quote by uh, Columbus? Could not hold my, drop my sword on the floor. He wanted to be known yep. that he was slaying Jake, man. That's how I hate. That's how deep that hate, that hatred goes. I was explaining to my seeds, you know, uh, you know, I was basically telling them about the presidents on these goddamn dollars, man. I was telling them about George Washington, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Andrew. Then I got to Andrew Jackson's bitch ass. Yeah. Told him that he's known as the Indian killer, man. 
that he's the one that pa he he passed the Indian Removal Act and made Jake walk from fucking state to state, man, in a dead winter, man. That's what you do, man. Fucking demons, man. Right. Hey, bro, I was meditating on that the other day. I was looking at the quarters, the, the pennies. It seemed like the higher up the money is, the worse the, the person is, like the Edomites. They're all devils, man. Like yeah. against our people, you know? They're all fucking devils. Yeah, like a lot of our people thought that Abraham Lincoln was a savior because he freed them freed the from slaves. Slave. He, like, he's like, if I could, if I could liberate America and keep the slaves, I fucking would, but I can't. He's the same dude that same so just, Thanksgiving, bro. What, what you, people don't understand was just a transfer from slaves from the South to the bankers. That's all it was. <sighs> they went back on their word about the 40 acres and a mule, man. Yeah. All the whole southern coast, that was all <laughs> supposed to be for, for Jake. <laughs> and you know what? Land. He did instead, Abraham Lincoln, he paid the, the slave owners $300 per slave, bro. They can't even get no reparation, you know? His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, read that again, Ock. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, Yet were they drawn swords. See, they were drawn swords, man. And that was a, those were literal swords back then. You know? They're about to wrap it up. That bomb squad is here. So, right, the scriptures tell us to never trust thy enemy, man. That's the best way to deal with this. that spirit, you know? Yeah, push that fear on the people, man. They might really blow some shit up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket nuked up as well. Hey, if there was a suspicious package, okay, get the package and take that shit somewhere else, man. Yeah. Damn, devils. Hey, who tell them to let in all of the Chinese nationals and the Russian nationals? <laughs> I was holding that song 10. Uh, Gonna read up. I was going to have to move again. Yeah, you can. Got it out. It's not like the time moving by slow today, huh? Good thing, I can't wait. 
<laughs> I was only uh, the Psalms 10 and 5 is further going into Esau. It says, uh, His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. Yeah, once again, being the aggressor. Yeah. Puffing at the enemy, too, man. Yeah, yeah this, this man doesn't know how to show any mercy, man. You know, hey, like, like the brother is going into him, man, you know, he, he just slaughters people, man. It says, he has said it in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. Look at that. That's the pride. Yeah. Scripture say what? If pride had deceived him. God. It says, His mouth is full of cursing and deceit, and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Is yeah. that no huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. I'm just checking my percentage. No, no. I read it over. Yeah. It says, uh, verse 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He, he sitteth in the lurking places at, of the villages. In the secret place that he murdered the innocent. You know the innocent. Yeah. And like the brother was saying, who's the innocent, man? You know, our people, man. All right? You know, hey. You know, we did nothing but try and keep the peace. And all you did was slaughter our people, man. It says, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages in the secret places that the that he murdered the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait. Right. His eyes are privily set against the poor, even to this day. All right, who's the poor? You Israelites. Okay? Who's in the ghettos? You Israelites. And it was systematically designed that way. Okay? It was systematically designed for you Israelites to be in the ghettos. Yeah, you already set up for failure, man. All that and the cursing, man. It says, uh, he lieth and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He does catch the poor when he draweth into him in his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Hey, ooh, that's a good example. Yeah. Hey, he humbles it himself. He crouches like he's for you. Like he wants to be your friend. Yeah. All right? Yeah, like he's helping you, like he's doing a service. But right. in his old mind, he wants to destroy you. When, when Esau came over here, he didn't want to live coincide with you Native Americans. He wanted to take everything that you got. Okay? Same thing with the uh, uh, Christopher Columbus, man. They were in that, in that region of the bottomless pit. That's why, they, that's why they, they took all the gold and all the resources they can. Okay? That's why they put you in slavery. Because the whole, their whole mindset and their whole agenda was to destroy you even to this day. These devils want to destroy us. They conquered us and they divided us. But it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we're coming back together, starting with the elect. Okay? It all starts with this the elect, this word. Because it, it, it's right now our people are still divided to this day. Look yep. at each other like they're enemies. We'll be the same people. Okay? Is that it? Oh, uh, there's one more. It says, uh, Verse 11, he has said in his heart, the Most High has forgotten, he hideth his face, he will never see it. Hey, the Most High has forgotten, that's what it seems like, right? But he see, hasn't forgotten, right. what a proof yeah. for that. Yeah. Right. It's only been two days, you can't forget <laughs> something in two days. Lord, just using you devils, man. Hey, he says that in the book of Proverbs, man, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, man. Behold and seeing the good and the evil, man. Hey, he's recording all of it, man. You, you, you're, uh, you're stacking up your rap sheet, man. That's right. All right? That's right, man. The most I hasn't forgotten. The most I was always there, watching you do the, do your atrocities to his people. Okay? But it's a day of recompense. Get Revelation 13 and 9. Yeah. It's a day of recompense, and this is what we're patiently waiting for. Okay? Uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Yeah, if you can understand this word, go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right, who led us into captivity? Who put the so-called Negroes 
Latinos, Native Americans, some of the Indians of captivity. Who conquered them? Who, who gave them lies? Who told them that they were uh, Mexican? Who told them that they were black? Okay, or called them minorities. All right, go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And what you think is gonna happen to uh, uh, these, these Edomites, man? That's how, that's how you so-called white people got this land. It's by killing the Lord's people, okay? It's by killing God's people. Right. We're putting them in slavery, okay? But the scripture says, he that leadeth to captivity shall go into captivity. That's, that's right. just. Yeah. You put us in captivity, it's right that you go into slavery. You kill with the sword, therefore it's right that you end by the sword. That's why it says Babylon shall end in violence. Because that's all you eat of myself done across the earth is bring violence. That's why this place is going to go out in the way of violence, in the way of the ultimate war, which is the nuclear destruction, the nuclear missiles. Okay? You do the crime, you got to do the time. Right. You can't run away from your punishment. Hey, what is Cain known as? Cain is known as a vagabond, a fugitive. Someone always moving from place to place, running from running from justice, yeah. running from running from justice. But get Nahum three and one. You can't run away from the Lord. Right. Hey, hey, Jonah tried to run. What happened to him? He got swallowed by a fish. Saul tried to hide behind a tree because he he was scared, of, you know, to show himself as king. The Lord's like he's behind the trees. So you can't run or you can't hide, even if you go in the deepest part of the earth. Even if you go in the deepest part of the ocean, or the highest, or the highest mountain, or in outer space, you cannot hide or run from the Lord. The Lord got you, man. He got your number. It's the time that that He's getting ready to judge your ass. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead. It's the Book of Nahum, chapter three, verse one. Woe to the bloody city! It is full of lies and robbery. Well, what's that bloody city? We're standing on it, America. Okay. America got the blood of the so-called Negroes. Native American some Indians on his hand. That's why America got to be destroyed. That's right. Okay. That's why the Lord got to judge this place to save His people. That's his right. His elect. Okay. This bloody ass city, and it's still shedding the blood of the Lord's people. Oh shit! He really about to shed some blood. Right. right. Yeah. Hey, and this blood that's about to be shed has never been shed before in the time of Jacob's trouble. For you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, some Indians that do not want to get your head out the white man's ass. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see the, the white man's hatred for you in that day, yeah. okay? But when the Bible says the devil shall come down with great wrath, knowing they had but a short time, who is he gonna point that wrath to? It ain't the fucking Chinese. It ain't the Russians. The people on this side. Why? Because he knows that his world is coming to an end. When I say he, I'm referring to the wicked ass elites, 13 ruling families that secretly run this place, run the whole world, man. Fucking tears. All right. You, de you devils know your time is coming. That's why they're going to come down with great wrath upon you people, man. Okay? Show no mercy on these people. Go ahead. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Lies and robberies. All right. Didn't Esau rob, rob this land from the Native Americans, the Mexicans? Didn't they rob uh, their, them of their resources, of their heritage, as well as the Negroes? Didn't they rob them and put them in slavery and put them in chains? Okay? For the lies and robbing and what? It says, the prey departed not. The prey? Who's the prey? The Israelites. And the law says, uh, 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 if we're found in his hand, we're still found. It. Read it. It's uh, Exodus 21 and 16. And he that still up a man and sell of him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. That's right. So he that still at the man, didn't 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 you eat my steal the, the the Negroes from the from the place of a uh, 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 refuge? Okay. Didn't you steal them from Africa and put them in chains? Yep. Didn't you steal the lands from from the Native Americans to put them in reservations? Yep. Didn't you steal the land from the Mexicans to put call them uh, spicks and wetbacks? Okay. And ultimately, you stole our heritage, and we're still in your hands. Precept two, we're still uh, uh, the prey to part of not. Yep. Where that prey? We're still here in America, and our people got the audacity to think that they're free. Oh, we're free. We're why free. Are you still, why are you still in the land of your captivity? Right. Just get closer, brother. Why are you still here? We ain't gotta all be in the frame, bro. Uh, you, I got precept. Go ahead. 
Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Oppressed together. The, the children of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, so-called Negroes, West Indians and Haitians, were oppressed together with the so-called Latins, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. Okay? We're oppressed together to this day. What I pray. What I pray. I remember they interviewed these cops over there in New York. And they, and they, they said that we have to go to the minorities and, and look and, and, and hunt them down like they were prey. That's how Esau looks at you, man. Why you think if you're in a white area, your ass gets pulled over for something little? Shit, you ain't even gotta be in a white area. Yeah, you can, oh, hey, you got this Jake. He was a cop, bro, in South LA. He got got arrested and pulled over. I mean, he got he got he got uh, uh he got arrested, and he he was LAPD. Uh, he got arrested, put in jail, and all that, man. And he was LAPD. Okay. Think about that. Where that pray. And we're, and we as together as much as you, you simple, of simple Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, don't want to accept and believe we're the same people, man. That's because right. Judah got a problem with Ishikar. I always hear these old heads say, "Oh man, the Mexicans are always taking our jobs," just like Esau. You got you got Ishikar hating on the on the blacks. Okay, never want to let the blacks they, uh, do, their daughter date the black man. That's all programming. Right. See, but that shit is unraveling in this time. Young, the youth, the youth for these people don't feel that way, man. Right. The youth for these, uh, these, uh, these people vibe, man. Yeah. They can get along, man. Uh, I remember I saw this video. This Jake was like, uh, he was like, he was like, my niggas, like I'm with the niggas. And the two Judas passed by. I was like, you said what? He said, he said nigga. He said, uh, you saw, you saw, anyone else saw that video? Know what I'm talking about? No. He's like. And Jake, basically they're all getting together and all that, man, all happy. Hey, all, it's like he thought he was gonna get his ass because he said nigga, right? Well, like, always, hey, miss, you know, but Jake just getting... Well, the kid, I'm always saying nigga, man. Yeah. That shit ain't new, man. <laughs> uh, when I was growing up, man, this car used nigga, man. And ain't nobody got a problem with it, man. Over there on the East Coast, Ephraim used nigga, man. Yeah. Uh, Simeon used, they say nigga. Yeah. Ain't nobody got a problem with that. Yeah. It's only when you Edomites begin to say it, that's when there's a problem. Shit. All right? Because the hatred is there. Yeah, you, should, All right? you shouldn't even say that to each other anyway. No, nah, yeah. we don't say it, but you know. No, no, I'm not talking about In the world, that's us. how they talk, you know? I ain't talking about amongst us, I'm yeah. saying. You know, he has a, people shouldn't say nigga at all, man. That's a, not eloquent at all. All right. Okay? Yeah. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captive held them fast, they refused to let them go. Oh, they refused to let us go. Who held us captive? The so-called white man. All right, the prey departeth not, and they refused to let us go. Still to this day, we're in this man's hands. Still to this day, we're still in slavery. Hey, do you have a... Uh, what is it, uh, Should we switch Bobby. over? Yeah, switch over. Phone about to die? Phone about to die. Yeah. How much is left? 20%. I think he could ride up to me like huh? 20%. Nah, my shit dies fast, bro. Damn. 20 of them. Well, close your apps, bro. It's not gonna uh, close. No, that helps a lot, bro. But just switch. Nah, bro, you good, man, with 20%, man. All right, all right, just, just wait yeah, till we get... ain't got that much time. I mean, yeah, yeah. got an hour, but. It's, it's good right now. Right. You ain't charge your phone? No, I did, 100%, bro. Yeah. 100%? Yeah, I charged my phone. Man, right. you'll see, you'll never have no problems. It read that again. I some of the apps. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, showing that we all the same. Right. And all that took them captives held their held them fast, that refused to let them go. Refused. The prey departeth not. Right. Still found in his hand. Just like with uh ancient Egypt, Pharaoh. They yeah. were, he refused to let us go. He don't want to let us go at all. Same thing. Why? Because just so important to this world, man. Right. You know, from the entertainment to the inventions to the, to the, the servitude, labor. Yeah, Jake is so important to this world, man. We're keeping this place running. If all Israelites were to leave America, America will go will go out in within an hour, man. For real, we might as well know what to do in the fields. There wouldn't be you, no servants, bro. There wouldn't be nobody in these shops. Yeah, you wouldn't know what to do in the warehouses. You eat them out, start working your office jobs and computer all day, while 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 Jake suffer. 
in the warehouse and shit. What? Alright, we should right. stay here, bro. Right. It's like, Damn. look, these people over here, we're good. They tripping for no reason. That show you that they really up to something else. Yeah, yeah. I've been here exposing my time. Holy shit. They probably putting up on there. <laughs> nah, it's, it's like the fucking, they always, this is a, this is a quarter cup. Anyway. Yeah, this motherfucker's motherfuckers get man. paid to do nothing. Well, hey, I mean, that was it on that. You got a piece up? Uh, oh, we didn't finish that in uh, Doom 3. Oh, okay. Nah, we did finish that. We did? That. I like that piece up you always bring out, but... No, I want to... We'll get a oh, Revelation 13 and 9. Okay. 10. Oh, the destruction of the poor is poverty? Yeah, yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about, though. Oh, it's not. It's not. Bro. <laughs> what you talking about? Uh? How are you connecting it? <laughs> yeah, I thought she had a whole I was thinking maybe. about, like, when we're destroyed, oh. that's not a thing. Are you talking about how the uh, scripture said the servant is the lender to the, I mean the servant, the borrower is servant to the lender, that one? Okay. You want that back in Revelation? Yeah. This is Revelation 13 and 9. 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, and this is what we're patiently waiting for. That's right. We're not trying to, you know, start an uprising and take this man down ourselves. Okay, we're, we're patiently waiting for the Lord. Because yep. he's going to be the one to save us. He's going to be the one to deliver us, man. I've never seen a leprous goat. A, a leprous goat. He probably just died out here. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Um, oh, Isaiah. What did I read last night? Isaiah 30. I got Ezekiel 35. Yeah, you can read that. Uh, look for this. It's Ezekiel 35 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Mount Seir is connected to you Edomites, so-called white people. Okay, that's the that's the land that the Lord gave your ass, man. Mount Seir. <laughs> which, you know, land they call Edom. Petra today, right? Yeah. Which, which means rock, right? Stone, yep. like Petra, Peter, you know, yep. stone, rock. It says, it said, it said, and prophesy against it. The Lord is right. not with you, devils, man. The Lord is against you, Edomites, you so-called white people, you real red people. All right, the Creator is against you, man. Okay. Prophesy against Mount Seir. Prophesy what? It says, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And I will stretch out my hand against thee. Brother, God bless America. Now the Lord's Brother, against you, man. Pray for America. Nope. <laughs> Brother, this is a God fearing nation. <laughs> nope. We set up the Bible as the rock of our land. Nope. <laughs> Fuck nope. out of here. This is a Babylon the Great. Right. That whore. The Lord that ought to be destroyed. The Lord's against America. That's why he's gonna That's destroy right. it from the face of the earth. That's right. Hey, Satan blesses this place, man. Yeah. That's the God that they're talking about. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. It says. I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Right, so the Lord's going to make America most what? Desolate. Okay? He's going to destroy America off the face of the earth, man. Okay? And this is a beautiful land, man. Right, it is. This place is beautiful, man. Don't get your head stuck in just because of L.A. and shit, or whatever city you're in. Yeah. You travel abroad, like Montana, no one really talks about Montana, but that shit, you got, you got some colorful... Rivers, bro. Like the rocks, colorful. North California got a, uh, it's like a, it's like a hiking trail. It's called, it's, it's called something pink. It's, it's like the rocks are painted, like Shit, the beaches, naturally, bro. naturally. The beaches are beautiful here, man. Go right. down to OC. Yeah. The beach, beaches are beautiful, man. Check up the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon, the Colorado River, man. Shit. It's, 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 Oregon, uh, Washington, bro. Oh, that, that green, man, is green, bro. North Dakota, South Dakota. Utah, man. bro. Utah. You, yep. Woo. Man. There's some beautiful lands but here, guess man. Guess what? All that's going to be what? Destroyed. Right. Wiped up by fire. All that's just fueled to the fire, baby. The Lord said, man, that's nothing. I could do that. That's nothing. That's, hey, this is beautiful, but what the, you know, what the, what the Lord yeah. got is going to be way yeah. astonishing throughout yeah, the earth because the earth is not giving us full strength. That's right. If it's not giving us full strength right now and it's certain places are beautiful and here in America, just imagine when it's in its full strength, and we get to rule the earth. It's at peace again. 
We don't gotta worry about trees being cut down. We got and we gotta worry about oil and gold being taken out of it, taken out of, taken out of it, man. All right. Yeah, ain't, ain't nothing fucking with our land. Right. No eyes have seen. Yep. Paradise, store, baby. Man. Paradise. I be thinking this is the weather that's in our land, Jerusalem weather right here, it's man. Just calm, bro. This, this is the best weather. Yep. And it, this, it's, it can't be the best weather. It has to, Jerusalem has to have the best weather, bro. Right. Yeah. Has to, bro. Right but now. California is Southern California is supreme. They on they on trip mode today, man. It says. It says, uh, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So think about that, man. How much blood Esau has shed of these people. All right, the blood of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans have been shed here in America. Bro, what do you think the Lord? Is going, what do you think the Lord is going to do today? It says the land cannot be cleansed but by the blood of Him that shed it. That's why this place is going to be destroyed. That's right. Okay. That's why this place is going to be destroyed, and you Edomites are going to be the are going to be the new face of slavery. I got that NLT. Go ahead. It says your eternal hatred for the people of Israel led you to butcher them. While they, while they were helpless, when I had already punished them for all their sins. Ooh, ooh, and I kinda, they kind of lightened it with that NLT. They kind of lightened it. Bro, bro. Sword displeased the heathen, but they helped, they helped for the affliction. Right. Man, you took it overboard, Esau. Yeah. You Showed took no it. mercy. No, you're like, damn, we, we're touching the Lord's people. And the Lord ain't sending a judge. The Lord ain't sending a prophet. The Lord ain't sending an angel this time. So he must be on our side. Let's do what we want to them. Let's let's castrate their men and yeah. ravish their women. Yep. Let's, let's use their children as gator baits. Let's do that. Uh, and I'm sure it's, it's a, a lot more than that. A lot yeah, more than that. Just a few examples. Yeah. We only know so much what the white man to, done to us. He used to burn our, our villages down. Man, burn dude. Gadite villages down, man. Shit used to hang us and chop off our rods, bro. Yeah. He was scalping us. Yeah, they used to do that as the men were hunting. You know what I mean? Nerves are in your, in your scout right Yeah, that's that is. You know how painful that is, bro? Very fucking painful, man. You ever had braids? Nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. Oh, yeah, braids? I never had braids, but I heard they're pretty painful. My C's got braids, and my son be having headaches and shit. Yeah, the first time you get them, they're very fucking painful and yeah. shit. That's what I heard. Just a mad damn. What Esau did to us. The torture methods. Like, hey, like, for example, they had they had to create torture methods, torture instruments. In order for them to see the torture instrument work, they had to use them. Yeah, what do you think bro. they used them on? The Israelites. They, man. they would uh they would uh, uh do procedures on the on the on the nigga woman with no anesthesia or nothing, man. Just you know, they figuring things out. Damn, man. you know a lot of a lot of Israelite women died from that, man. You know it. Man. You know, you know the conclusion of that was like uh, the so called Negro tolerance of pain. It's lies, bro, lies. Is, is uh, more extreme than others. That's a that's a, a lack of compassion. That's on Lack of bro. pity, man. Imagine opening somebody and just leaving it out. Like, Show you that he's a real psychopath, man. Yeah, bro. You don't, <laughs> you don't, you can't sympathize with us, man. Yeah. They have more, they have more uh, care for animals than they have for us. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. They don't look at us as humans, man. You're fucking more animals. You care more about a goddamn dog you sleep with than because uh, they, why they don't consider us as people. <laughs> At the end of the day, they don't consider us as... We're subhuman in their eyes. Yeah, we're nothing. They can kill us and go to sleep. Shit. Oh, Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 30 and 16. It says, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Right. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all, they, all, that, they, all that prey upon thee Will I give for a prey? In all nations, mainly the so-called white men, have spoiled us, put us in captivity. Okay, has trying to destroy us. That's why the same thing's gonna happen to them. It's righteously so. You reap what you sow, man. It's called karma. You start causing karma. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I guess it doesn't exist with, uh, with slavery. They want us to forget, forget about it, right? They don't want us to bring back the past, all right? They want us to forget about slavery and just let it go and forget and forget. But here it is, 9-11, every year you can't forgive and forget, huh? Or that goddamn so-called Holocaust. Right. That always, never happened. Always shoving it down our throats. You had uh, Ro Roseanne, she catching, she catching flack for saying that the Holocaust never happened, man. You don't want to talk about the Holocaust, you got to talk about the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Yeah, that's How right. about that, man? You want to talk about six million? That ain't got nothing on us. What about billions? Like, triple figures. Millions. Bro, billions, bro. Billions, billions. of our people. Yeah. Can't believe this nigga's numbers, man. man. He going to always try to, he going to always try to downplay what happened to us. You know? There were even six million Jews in uh, Europe at that time. And then that, it, it kind of came out. They was pushing that lie from the that goddamn twenties, man. Yeah. The the early, uh, late late teens, the twenties, the thirties, before it even fucking happened, supposedly, right? They've been pushing that in the news, in the in the newspapers. Six million, six million, six million. Oh. Never even fucking happened. I got that word devour, right? Go ahead. It means to destroy completely, man. Mm. To to swallow up. Ooh. Hey, you man. know. Yeah, like uh, Obadiah 118. Yep. We're going to destroy you Edomites completely. You're, you're not and that's gonna, genocide, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. not going to exist as a nation no more. Hey, and that's right. when the Edomites will be done away with, Mo Cap Malone. <laughs> All right? Not, not, it was, the Edomites have, are, have not been done away with. They're still here today. And you're one of them. God damn it. That's right. I got it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell, then sell my hand, take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight at the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, he shall bite them. Basically, you know, when the Most High flips things around, you know, you saw it's gonna try to hide. It's gonna try to hide out in space, out in the mountains, even down in the ocean. Now, why is that? Because the they, 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 left hand power is not gonna be working. Satan ain't gonna come to them no more like he used to. Okay, they're gonna be and and, and you're gonna have the wicked, the Alama, I think, um, the laborers. They're gonna come against them. You're gonna have the people, upwards of the people, man. They're gonna finally wake up to this shit that, about the wicked elites, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna cause havoc, man. Cause havoc. You Edomites think that you have it all planned out? You want to get this thing done by 2030, even before? The devils have no idea. What's gonna happen, man? You have no idea what's gonna happen to you. you, you your plans are not gonna work. It's only gonna get so far, okay? It's only gonna get so far with you devils. So the Lord, so the Lord allows us to get you, cause we're that hand, all right? Yeah, we're that hand. Yeah. We're gonna get your ass in the bunkers, in the mountains, all right? The Lord gonna probably shoot your ass down from outer space, in the ocean. The Lord got a Leviathan, Leviathans, okay? There's always more than one, okay? Not just that. The Lord gonna give us power to what we throw in the ocean too. Right. Oh, it's yeah. nothing. We're gonna be Aquaman. It's nothing. Shit. It's nothing. It'll be easy work. So what's up, Jacob? Watch out, get big ass shame. Fucking time. Fucking get your face. <laughs> oh man. You feel oh, so good. Like, fuck your oh, you like pain? You never felt pain in your life? Here's another one. Get yeah, your we, ass out in the fucking sun. You gotta do is push one of them devils, man. Make them make them fly a mile, man. Hey, but Hey, get Isaiah 14. What's you know what I mean? Just, imagine imagine just, that with power, man. Just push the motherfucker, man. Yeah. But first, we're going to come in there. Read that scripture. Yeah. Read that scripture. You got it? Yeah, it's Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. No, no, no. No, which one? This, uh, is this the guy that made the face? No, no. That's like 6, 8. Oh, it's okay. the man that made Man, brothers. Um, 13 for the house of... I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Is it 12? Yeah. Read it. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Right, Lucifer. Oh, my goodness. That's Satan. That has to be Satan. No. It's not Satan. That's Satan did not fall from heaven. They use it as scripture as that. That's uh, Lucifer just means light bearer. All right? That's when you go to Illuminati, the illuminated ones. Okay? Esau, he's fallen from his, his, his rulership. Okay, go ahead. It says, uh, 
How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Right. It says, For thou hast said in his heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Lord. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. It says, uh, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And hell, hell means what? Grave. Yeah. It means, which is uh, synonymous with judgment. Yeah, when we're done, brothers, we can cut through right here. The alley right there. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, perfect. What verse are you at? I'm at verse uh, 15. Okay. Keep reading? Yeah, to, to 16. That's, that's oh, yeah, we hit that 10% 10, 10, 10 marker, Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. About less than 15 minutes. All right. It's oh, ver yeah. verse 16. Oh. We had 10%? Yeah. Less than 10 or 15. Yeah, that, was, that took all the... Uh, I told you. My phone dies fast, bro. But, but read 16. It's verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. Right. And can Go ahead. And that again. It says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Well, bam, break the fucking door, disappear. This is the ugly motherfucker that has been doing all this to the earth. All this trouble, this weak little thing. The basis of man. This low, low life scum. This motherfucker, oh, this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Bam, metal chain on your ass. Yeah. Shit. Excuse me, I don't mean to be dramatic, but damn. Yeah, I, pic dramatic, I, I picture it sometimes, man. Like, yeah. man, Lord, so you, man, you, you, you go, go get the ass. Woo, Jake. Bro, you know, we're, we're Lord's people, bro. Woo, we got, we're going to do assault with flavor, all kinds. <laughs> Shit, you got brothers breaking the doors. You got brothers just appear. We're gonna play a game with your ass. This is what you want. What's that one guy? Uh, your stuff. You take Jude that said, We don't need to wait upon the Lord for uh, for uh, to get eternal life. You can get it through technology. That uh, guy. Uh, yeah. Oh, Elon Musk? This is what you're trying to no, 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 no. Sure this is what you're trying to achieve. Eternal life. My power gave me this. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Switch the phone, bro. Yeah, switch it. Switch it. Now switch it. So, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? I would have to end that one. Do it real quick. Yeah, Make the adjustments you already need to do before you uh, switch it, bro. For sure. Set it up already. Man, so, oh, will it, man? You know, that's the only reason why you elites are going to escape the destruction. Because you're going to be the first crop of slaves. And it's righteously so. Because you never worked a day in your life. Never worked a day in your life. You don't know what it's like to be in the sun be starving. You don't know what it's like to need a break. And you ain't gonna get no goddamn break. Okay? Even and they people, know it. People that do prison sentence, they go in there, they work, though. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, they give they be giving Jake multiple life sentences. Yeah. You dealt, man, that's why uh you get that in I think Psalms, they shall be put in a pit and be visited in many days. Uh, you know, I was getting uh continual employment. Yeah you can get that too. visit them many days, bro. Some of them going to starve to death. We're going to bring them back alive. Yeah. Ain't getting no break. Not even no, no 10 minute break. No 30 minute break. None of that. Sun up, sun down. To the first Sabbath and that, keep, and that, that arises. <laughs>